Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. My name is Robin Karen Parks and today is April 17th. It is my day 340. Woohoo! 340! And uh, I, uh, I'm feeling kind of goofy today. I'm in kind of a goofy mood. Um, over the weekend uh, we um, inherited an old piano and uh, my daughter and I have been trying to tune it, uh, which is kind of hard to do. Uh, apparently you need a special tool and I thought I'd be kind of clever and use my craftsman ratchet uh, and it, no good. So um, much to my credit, I went to my two local music stores and both of them told me the same thing. Like we only carry digital pianos. Like they're not keyboards anymore, they're digital pianos. I guess they do sell keyboards, but digital pianos. And so, no, they didn't have a tuner. And um, it was kind of an interesting experience. Uh, one of the other ladies uh, posted on their Facebook page about how they went to a guitar store and, you know, were kind of like given the you don't know what you're doing uh, thing. Um, I kind of had the reverse reaction. I, I knew exactly what I was looking for, exactly what it was, and... Um, I thoroughly enjoyed, <laughs> here's the difference. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed being treated as a woman who didn't know anything. And I totally let the men fight for me. Okay. <laughs> I totally played the dumb woman and I totally was, you know, well, I don't know. I just need to tune my piano and I've never done it. And so, <laughs> Uh, I'm starved for attention. Okay, I I don't know. I I can't explain it. I I guess I feel kind of guilty in a way, but same time it's 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 nice to be fussed over a little bit. Um. Anyway, so I've had to order one off uh, Amazon, which is cool. Hey, I knew knew what I was looking for, or whatever. And while I was there, I ordered a uh team huff uh, house hufflepuff um headband um and i wanted to share today in the video a couple things number one i think i did a pretty good job on my makeup today you wanna look at my eyes see my eyes did a pretty good uh pretty good job i can't uh do anything i'm wearing um Cover girl brown. Uh, you can get this at the drugstore. And I'm wearing um, a cover girl uh, this. And <laughs> I'm cheap. What do you want from me? It's 50% off. Anyway. Um, so, um, but no, I wanted to show this off. Um, I have never wore girls t-shirts women's t-shirts i've always worn uh you know like my star wars t-shirts are all guy shirts you know they're all your typical t-shirt and so i'm going to stand up in a minute and you will be tempted to look at my boobs um and i'm of the opinion that this is what a, a woman's t-shirt is supposed to do it extenuates your figure or lack thereof in my case i don't have enough Pushing for the cushion. Anyway, so I'm going to stand up, and I fully expect you to look at my wonderful boobies. But, see, look at that. Um, anyway, um, yeah, Hufflepuff. Um, I got another one in profile. I don't know. <laughs> my little boobies. Um, in profile, um, I got an R2-D2 one, and so now I kind of have a, a gray shirt, and I feel pretty, feel pretty feel pretty loose uh and uh when i was walking today i um have to admit that i uh i watched the um the amish uh, men working on the houses on the framing and i enjoyed what i saw so um you know whether there's an ezekiel or a zebekiah in my future i don't know i doubt it um you know, Amish women are um, pretty vivacious. Uh, they look cool. Um, they're hard to please. That's why they like two Mennonites. Ah, ah, ah. Humor. I kid myself. Um, did a pretty good job.
job on my eyebrows today too. I ended up overdoing. Um, I found this little thing that you use on your nose, and it has an attachment you can use on your eyebrows. And I think I went a little overboard because like shaved them off. But hey, not too shabby. I I clean up right. Um. So really, this is just checking in today, and uh, like I said, I'm feeling a little sassy. Got my tight t-shirt on, and I'm, I'm not going to enter a wet t-shirt contest soon, but yeah, I might one day. Never know. Um, but I had a thought kind of while I was in the shower, actually, about getting used to the view. Maybe that's a good what this could be called is getting used to the view um you know being full time and for a, a significant amount of time full time almost a year um you get I, I found myself getting used to things like i looked down in the shower and I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, where's, I, I use a, a razor up here and I use a special razor down below on my legs, not where you thought it was. Dirty minds. Um, and, well, I did say a shorn scrotum a couple of days ago. <laughs> no, on my legs. And it was one of those things, like, I found myself getting into the habit and like looking down this morning and you know seeing where I needed to shave my legs and just as just without really thinking about it and except when I noticed today I looked down I said you know I'm getting used to this view I'm getting used to not having hair uh, on my legs and not having hair in the upper part of my body or looking down and and not having hair on my you know what I used to have hair you know it was a selling point for a beta beta version of me. <laughs> Just hair, you know. Don't have any now. Um, don't shave it. Don't need to. Very happy. Still have this shit, which I hate, but you know it'll go in time, I guess. Um, but getting used to the view, or when I was getting dressed and uh, you know pulling on my panties and whatnot. And that's like the norm now, you know, it's not, um, my, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, my biker shorts that I wear when I walk, I got them dirty today, don't ask me how, and, um, you know, again, I was, I needed a substitute for my second walk, because my fat thighs, my legs rub together, and so I'm like, oh, well, I'll just wear an old pair of boxer shorts and a pair of panties on top, and it'll pull it in and keep my legs, and it did work, but it was just such an odd sensation or the realization of what used to be the norm for me, the boxer shorts, is now the oddity. You know, the panties are the normal, and I, I guess, you know, part of wanting to have surgery is so that the panties fit better, rur, rur. you know, there's there's not twigs and berries getting in the way. Um, the same way I saw one of the other ladies um, posted something about a rafting trip, and that sounded really good to me. I used to love going tubing, uh, again, in, in beta test mode. And I like that. That's a good analogy. Instead of saying the old me or the male me in beta beta mode, uh, not to be confused with uh, beta max, which was of course Sony's folly. But a boom, look it up, beta max. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, where were we? Oh, uh, bathing suit. So I want to get a bathing suit. And so again, the body. You know, I'm getting used to much like my T-shirt here that I'm really loving, uh, looking, feeling a little slutty. But um, you know, again, I want the the one piece one piece bathing suit. You have the little skirt on it, maybe. Um, you know, because I want to float down the river. And again, I'm I'm getting used to this view. I'm getting used to my body in this way. Um, in the same way that when I went to the uh, the music shops looking for the the piano tuner. You know, hi. Um, 
when I went to the the music shop, you know, I grabbed my purse and my keys and it, it just becomes the second nature where before it was, don't take your wallet, take your purse, you know, and, um, like I said, I think getting used to the new, the new, this is the new, but it's not necessarily new. Uh, getting used to the view is what I was saying. Getting used to the view, getting used to living this way. And then the other seems as foreign as this maybe was desirable five years ago or whatnot. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, had another thought too. I'm just sharing my thoughts today. As I was uh, leaving the second music shop, or I guess it was the first music shop, you know, I looked in the mirror. I didn't have my ears on. Um, I looked in the mirror, and I was like, you know, Robin, you really are going to have to get your ears pierced. And I was like, no, I don't want to get my ears pierced. And I'm like, but there's something about, ooh, hell, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Oh, that's old me. Um, you know, there's something about having something here that is, it, I don't know, it adds something, I, I think, and visually, maybe in our programming or my programming, that's what I think I'm missing, but I, I don't want to pierce my ears, I don't meddle in me, I don't want metal in me, um, you know, I don't want it, I don't like needles, and I, just the idea of something, you know, oh! from my ear no so um here i'll do this i'll put this on my nose um you know again it's one of those things that i, I looked in the mirror and i i found myself saying you know what would complete your look <laughs> earrings i'm like yeah but i don't want earrings um but again back to the idea of of getting used to the view um and by the same token in getting used to the view, um, passing by a mirror <laughs> and seeing my reflection, I'm like, who is that person? It's me. You know, it's like you forget what you look like, or I don't know. I don't know. Uh, especially on a day like today where, you know, I did take 10 minutes to do a little bit of makeup in my eyes and, and like I said I think I think I did pretty good you can see it's all brown you know uh I did find and I'll do my my hand thing again where did it go um uh covergirl makes this really cool um eyeliner um okay covergirl and it's just a pencil like a wax crayon and I loved it. It goes on easily. But any color other than this like black onyx, midnight, black hole, anus, whatever color, Angus, Angus, it does not go on easy. And so it really kind of bummed me out. Um, I even tried like the cover girl, you know, kind of a pencil thing. And I can't find it now for the life of Here it is. So instead, I found something very similar. It looks very identical. Okay, again, it's like, but this is more like a soft wax crayon. And it seems to go on pretty easily. It's Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner uh, 203. Broom. Broom, because it's French. Um, but yeah, you know, again, for me, I'm brown, and of course, I'm graying. And so, you know, in addition to a little bit of black and a lot of brown, I have a little bit of gray because I'm going gray, my hair. That's where I'm at in my life, and I refuse to color my hair. So, um, here's a good shot of gray right in there. <laughs> I haven't seen a ghost. I guess my hair would be white then. Anyway, so that's where we're at on 340, just a lot of odd thoughts, and I had another thought too, which was, I, I said to myself that I was going to be the best me that I could be, and I think that's a pretty good challenge for anybody. Be the best you that you can be, you know, Stuart Smalley. I'm going to do a good show today. I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and gosh darn it, people like me, um, but good luck. Till next time.